welcome to my channel. My name is Lacey. If you're new here, if you're not, then welcome back. What are y'all doing? <laughs> Alright, so today I've got a Q&A for y'all. So if y'all see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my tablet here um, and answering the questions. So, let's go. Was how did you and Bubba meet? So, we were about 12 years old and my nani, that's my grandma, she had moved and me and my cousin, they lived like off a little dirt road. It was like a little circle dirt road. And me and my cousin were just walking. Um, we were like, we were little. He had to be about 10 and I was about 12. So we were just walking and on the dirt road and up comes like a bunch of kids on four wheelers and dirt bikes and stuff. And the one leading the pack stopped and everybody else stopped after that. And it was Bubba. And he was probably about 13 and he was just like, Hey, who are you? You know, I ain't seen you around here. And you could tell the rest of them just wanted to go and ride. Like they didn't, they didn't want to stop. Um, they wanted to go do their fun kid stuff. And, and he was just like, who's that? So anyways, that's how we met. And then from there, um, he would come over to my Nana's house and stuff like that. But, so I didn't know this until the other day, literally like probably two weeks ago. So me and Bubba were at my mama's house and we were talking to her and he was saying how when he was younger, he remembers, um, like my mama had a silver forerunner and when he would see it coming down the highway, her taking me to my Nana's house, he would go out there and crank that dirt bike up and there he come. He was on his way. I didn't know that. I mean, I never realized it, you know, that he was, you know, paying attention to because I used to do the same thing, y'all. If I was inside Nana's house and I was sitting there and I could hear them dirt bikes crank up, boy, I was out that door so quick standing on the porch like, I've been here all day. But anyways, yeah, so he was my little boyfriend when we were younger and we were in our 20s. Uh, we're still in our, well, I'm still in my 20s. Bubba's 30. I'm 29, y'all. But anyways, whenever years pass or whatever, so years pass, life happens, we grow up and one day he messaged me on Facebook and he was like, you know, hey, I haven't talked to you in a long time. And I was like, hey. And then um, he was like, would you want to hang out sometime? And I was like, yeah. And then that's it, y'all. We hung out here. We've been together every single day since then. So, yeah, that's my bubba. Childhood sweethearts, I guess you could say. All right, so the next question is, what is your favorite part of YouTube? So my favorite part of YouTube, and I feel like this probably like, what's that word, cliche? When it comes to a YouTuber, everybody's going to say, oh, my subscribers. But really, my subscribers are my favorite part of youtube the connection the friendships you know the love and support and encouragement every day it'll just blow your mind i mean it made me realize that we should be walking around encouraging people right and left strangers you know people you see out you know in public oh i love your shirt or oh my gosh i love your hair stuff like that anything like that i mean it can just change somebody's day and i don't think everybody realizes how much y'all changed my day like y'all make my day every single day the next one is if you could go back and start your channel sooner would you yes i would have started it a long time ago like a long time ago um number one for the memories um you know all the things that i wish i had you know recorded in life you know just to have to look back on i do wish i had that that and then also just the friendships and the encouragement i mean you really don't, you don't get that just, you know, in an everyday situation, you know, and me being able to encourage other people, like, it's just insane. So, yes, I definitely would have started a long time ago. The next one is, what do you do for you time? I read. I read all the time. I'd rather read than watch TV or anything like that. So, that is my me time is reading a book. And when I tell you I read, I mean... I read a whole book in like 24 hours so yeah. the next one is can you see if i can move a mobile home on the property next to you please just me two kids and two dogs girl call that semi company tell them to hook up find you a trailer tell them to hook it up and come on we'll park you in the back it'll be fine we don't need no permit we'll hide you <laughs> just kidding but yes i would love that oh my gosh the next one is, how is Sadie doing medically? We all know that girl has it going on socially. Y'all, yes, yeah, she is a social butterfly. I have never in my life. She gets that from me. The funny thing is, is I'm very, um, what's the word? I'm, what, is it introvert? I'm an introvert. Like, I want to be by myself a lot, but I'm very outgoing, if that makes sense. But being outgoing completely depletes me. Like, I can't, 
I need days to recover after like any kind of social interaction in person. So anyways, but Sadie's not like that. Sadie is just completely social, 100% outgoing. She never meets a stranger. She's a mess, y'all. <laughs> anyways, um, how is she doing medically? Um, so Sadie is doing good medically for the most part. Um, we've got her seizures pretty managed. Um, we do see some every now and then, um, but for the most part, the medicine is working. Things are even and out. So the next one is, what is your go-to meal when on a budget? That's every meal for us. Like literally every meal for us. Um, we are definitely on a budget. There have been times where I have walked in the grocery store with $20 and need to feed us for the whole week. And I make it happen every time. It won't be glorious, it won't be amazing, but it happens. So a couple of, I guess you could say, budget-friendly meals that are extremely budget-friendly. Um, and also you gotta keep in mind, there's only three of us. Sadie has feeding aversions, so she doesn't eat a ton. Um, and it also limits us too on what you know we make as dinner. And I know some people don't agree with that, but you know, that's just our choice for, but yeah, since there's only three of us, one meal makes two meals, you know, because we have leftovers and lunch and stuff from it because I mean, there's only three of us. So, but my favorite go-to meals, um, when it comes to being on a budget, um, I would say is any meal that I could get at a restaurant that's going to cost a ton of money, um, that I can make myself. So in particular, probably chicken teriyaki, you know, where they cook in front of you and all that stuff. Obviously I'm cooking it in front of myself and in front of my family while they watch. But yeah, so we kind of get the hibachi thing if y'all just look at the stove. But yeah, so hibachi type thing is my favorite. It's all of our favorite actually. We love chicken teriyaki. Mm -hmm. The next one is, what is something your mom did when you were growing up that you do with Sadie? Um, everything. And by everything, I mean me and my mom have always done everything together. Me and my mom are extremely close. Um, we've been A1 since day one, I reckon you could say. My mom had me when she was really, really young. And so there were times where we grew up together. That, and, so yeah, basically everything that I did with my mom is everything. <laughs> And so yeah, me and Sadie do everything together and I just want me and her to have that same relationship that me and my mom have and had and that's my main goal um, is to be the mother that my mom is to me, to my daughter. Do you, does that make sense? The next question was, how did y'all's garden do this year? Um, it did okay. It was like a half and half situation. Our potatoes did great. We got so many potatoes, but other things really didn't take like our cucumbers were for whatever reason they grew in a circle you know cucumbers are supposed to be long they were round and like a complete ball it was weird um every single one of them was like that so we don't know what that was about i tried to google it um tried to ask around to some of our family who have gardened and stuff like that or grew their own vegetables farmed or whatever nobody knows so if y'all happen to know let me know what happened to my cucumbers i don't understand um, but other than that, yeah, potatoes took really good this year. Um, and I, yeah, I feel peas. That was it. So the next one is the best advice for a new YouTuber is don't worry about what other people think about you. I know that's easier said than done. Um, but always remember that, you know, you're going to end up having more positive response than negative, you know. Um, always be yourself 100% because there's so many people out there. Nobody is you, you know, so you definitely just need to be yourself. Um, and then another thing is, and I think this is extremely important, don't get tied up in numbers when it comes to your channel. I see that so many times and I believe it is a downfall of so many people. YouTube can go from something that is so fun to something that is a chore or a burden or something that causes you anxiety or confidence issues and stuff like that because you're comparing you know your numbers to someone else's or you know just don't worry about the numbers so much um because it can really get you in a bad place i've seen it happen so many times i've seen so many people either quit or just literally be miserable doing this and it's like why um, but I do know that some people, 
you know, start YouTube with different intentions than I did. When I started YouTube, I didn't even know that people could make money off of it. Um, but I do know that some people start YouTube with intentions of making it a career. And if that's you, then that's fine. You know, then obviously you're going to be concerned about your numbers, like on from a business level and aspect and stuff like that. Um, but you do have to always remember that you're a person and you have to enjoy what you do, whether it's your job or what you're doing for fun. So um, just don't get so caught up in numbers. Things, you know, will fall into place for you and you're, you'll be where you're meant to be the whole entire time. Um, don't compare yourself to anybody. You are you. The people who love you are going to find you and... Just have fun. That's my main thing. Just have fun. Because when it's not fun anymore, then it, to me, if I wasn't having the day that I stop having fun is the day that y'all don't see me on here anymore. So just keep having fun. So the next question is, what is your favorite Bible verse and or gospel song? So my, so my favorite Bible verse is 1 Peter 5 verse 7 and it is cast all your cares upon him for he cares for you and that is something that I have to always remind myself because I struggle with anxiety extremely bad I mean some days it is debilitating and I will make something to worry about when there's nothing to worry about and I just have to always remember you know that I can lay all my worries and all my concerns at God's feet right but the thing is, and my nanny always told me this, lay it down. Lay it down at his feet, but leave it there. Do not pick it back up. And that is a daily struggle for me, you know, is telling God, hey, God, take this burden from me, please. You know, I want to give you this burden. I know you will take my burdens. But then 10 minutes later, turning around and being like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? I'm worried about this now and that. And I took it back. And in and that case, am I putting my trust in the Lord? No, I'm not. So I do have to remind myself that daily, you know, is to lay it at his feet and do not pick it back up. I've got to put my trust in God. So that verse always reminds me of that. And when it comes to my favorite gospel song, so I love Southern gospel. Someone else asked a question, what um, kind of music do you listen to? Pretty much lately, straight up Southern gospel. I do listen to some country music still, um, but here lately, just straight up Southern gospel. Um, I really love a lot of the old stuff that probably a lot of people don't like anymore. I love the Isaacs, um, the Gaithers, the Crab family. I mean, all of them. And like I said, I know nowadays that people don't like to listen to that kind of stuff. I love it. I grew up listening to that and you know it is what it is for me i enjoy it and the last one for instagram says not a question i just love you to death i'm glad i found your channel you crack me up well i try y'all if i can get a laugh out of somebody that is my favorite thing in this whole entire world <laughs> can you sing for us okay okay jehovah jireh my provider, Jehovah Nisi, Lord, you reign in victory, Jehovah Shalom, my Prince of Peace, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Next question. All right, so now on to the questions on YouTube. I am just going to go down the list from the top to the bottom. If Bubba had his own channel, what would he be most interested in sharing? We know he's a man of many trades, but is he a grilling man, fishing man, truck guy, or a drinking man? Bubba does not drink. Neither one of us actually drink, um, but he is a grilling man, a fishing man, and a truck man. Bubba loves anything to do with anything that has... Um, two or more wheels. I'm telling you, he's like a mechanical genius. He's one of those kind of people that can look at something and tell you what's wrong with it right off the bat. Um, what knowledge would he like to pass to ladies that he understands and we might not? I think the basics because of like, you know, how to change your tire. A lot of people don't know how to do that. How to change your tire, um, you know, how to change your oil and stuff like that. I mean, sometimes that's important because you might be married to someone who's not interested in learning that or, you know, nobody ever taught them that. Um, 
but it's something important that, you know, something that's important to know. So I think things like that. Um, what are some things he wants Sadie to know about life as she grows up? Um, most importantly, I know we both agree on this, is that no matter what, you know, she will always have mama and daddy and Jesus. That's it. Always. That's number one. Next one is, do you feel like a more confident person having a YouTube channel? You seem like you've always been a friendly person out in public, like people would be comfortable just having a conversation with you. Um, so funny thing is, Laura, is, um, yeah, I'm, I would say, I would say that I'm not confident. I have my, um, I have my doubts about myself, just like everybody else does, or the things that I wish I could change. Ice makers going off over there. Uh, I look at everyone as a friend, and a lot of times, you know, that can be off-putting to some people, is because, you know, I can come right up to you and be like, hey, how are you, you know? Um, and a lot of times, you know, that people don't like that, and that's fine. Um, but that's just the kind of person I am. I've never met a stranger. I mean, I love people. And, but yeah, so I think what it is, is I love people more than I, I care more about people than my own insecurities. And so a lot of times I'll just forget them. But it says, you seem like you've always been a friendly person out in public. Very much so. <laughs> Very much so. Um, like people would be comfortable just having a conversation with you when someone gives me the time and gives me the chance then yes but a lot of times I'm faced with not getting the opportunity to do that people won't give me a chance and um, you know that's just being vulnerable I know it's weird I don't know I, I honestly don't know why um, that is but I just don't um, a lot of times you know I don't know I've never really fit in a lot with girls my age. Um, I don't know. People just don't give me the time of day, which is fine. I don't care. It's okay. I got y'all. Let's see. How long have you known and been close friends with Marina? I love you two so much. God bless, girly. So, me and Marina have been friends for um, almost a year now, not long after I started YouTube. Um, and, like, since that day that we became friends, we have literally talked every single day probably every hour like waking hour since then um in the morning i wake up and i text her hey good morning and or if she wakes up before me she'll do that and literally all day long we're constantly you know and i would definitely say like every hour we're we're talking to each other because if not then y'all would have seen like you know them putting out a bolo and that what it's called on my little tv shows i watch i'll be on the lookout for a marina fearfully created on the news because then I'd be wondering where you at all right so the next one is the next one is has having a YouTube channel helped you with your ADD or any other diagnosis you've had what are the ups and downs of YouTube's towards your ADD hope that makes sense um, you are one of my you and Marina are my favorites on here so I have ADHD I don't have ADD um, at least they didn't tell me I did but I wouldn't doubt it but I have ADHD, um, and I would say that YouTube has helped my ADHD because I have, you know, maybe a purpose behind my days, a little bit more structure because, like, I know I want to put a video out for y'all. Um, also, I know, you know, I don't know, YouTube helps hold me accountable, basically. But yeah, when it comes to my ADHD, I think YouTube has helped me big time, um, at least self-reflect and figure out what works for me and what doesn't. The next one is, how long have you been married and would you consider renewing your wedding vows? Love you and your beautiful family, God bless you. So the funny thing is, if you go back and watch my old q and I said that me and Bubba were married for six years, y'all. It ain't been quite six years, it's been a little over five and a half years. So when I said that last time, so it must have been like six months ago when I did my Q&A, we had just been married for five years. <laughs> ah, so funny. Anyways, like a little over five and a half years, coming up on six. All right. Did y'all have a big wedding? Um, no, we got married at the courthouse in the courtyard um, by the judge. Um, yeah. 
Funny thing is, is like, he's like, you may now kiss your bride. And then real quietly, he's like, hey, you got my fee. So it was so romantic. It was amazing. <laughs> Funniest thing, like me and Bubba still talk about that today. If you could travel anywhere and money was not an object, where would you go? Um, I think I'd like to see Oklahoma. I'd like to see Oklahoma. I probably would like to travel all around the United States, but um, strictly the United States because I'm not getting on an airplane. That ain't happening. We'd have to go in a vehicle. Um, let's see. What is your dream job or home, and would you ever move to another state? My dream job is right here, what I'm doing now, stay-at-home mom. Um, next would be being a teacher, but I can be that at home, too. We'll just put it that way. I don't know if I want to be a teacher this day and age. Let's see. Um, and my dream home would be, if not, you know, right where I'm at, if one, one day... If an opportunity came up for me to buy, like, Gracie, what are you doing? So, my dream home is, like, I don't know. I don't really have a dream home. I'm content where I'm at. It really doesn't, um, you know, I really don't want for, for anything. I like where I'm at, but it would be cool like if I if I could pick some house like when we went to the drive through zoo a cut, like a month ago, I saw some amazing old farmhouses like that's all there was near there, and I mean they were beautiful and I loved them. I think I would want me like a 300, 200 year old house, and I would move to another state. I really would like to move to Tennessee. Even before Marina was my best friend, we we need to be neighbors, but. Even besides that, like, I love Tennessee. It's beautiful. I want to live in the mountains. What is your favorite music? That's Southern Gospel. What is your favorite childhood memories? Um, any memory with my nanny. I miss her so much, y'all. I'll tell you. Yeah. I had a good childhood with my nana and my mom. What is your favorite hobby? Um, reading, for sure. I know I said that earlier. Tell us one useless fact about you that we don't already know. Um... I don't know if I said this in my last Q&A, but two of my toes are stuck together. All right, next one is, what does Bubba do for a living? This is a new subscriber. My husband is a mechanic, and he also runs tow truck. What are your must-have cleaning products? Whatever is on sale, whatever's the cheapest. I go for um, the stuff over there at the Dollar General that's in the dollar section, or the stuff at Dollar Tree in particular. Sorry, my phone. I had to clear something out. So, yeah, anything that's cheap, I don't care. I really like Pine Sol and um, Murphy's Oil in particular. What do you love about where you live? Would you want to live anywhere else? Um, I really wouldn't want to live anywhere. I'm content where we're at. I like it. Um, I love it. I mean, I, if I could ever live in the mountains, that would be the only trade-off I would say I would you know, live somewhere else, but, um, the favorite, my favorite thing about where we live at is that, you know, it's just so quiet, it's a small town, um, anybody comes down our road that we don't know, they don't have no business being down here, like, you can spot it immediately, stuff like that, so I just love where we live at. What are your top favorite books? Um, y'all have so many favorite books, that's a really hard question. Yellow Crocus comes in number one, though, that's a really good book, it's kind of like a historical um, book, maybe like historical fiction. I don't even know. Yeah, it's like historical fiction. And then, um, I don't know what would be my close second. I was thinking about it earlier and I forget, but I'm going to link my Goodreads account down below and y'all go follow me on there because I'm constantly updating that on what I'm reading, what I've read in the past, what I want to read, stuff like that. Let's see, what did you do before you were a stay-at-home mom? I was an insurance agent for four years. Can we be BFFs? Got it, done, we are BFFs. This one says, I really wanna start my own channel, but I don't really know how to do it. Um, so really just use your phone. Go to, I recommend going to, um, what's that, Five Below store, they always have tripods and things you might need for like vlogging and stuff like that, I just recommend going and getting a tripod or ring light if you want to. You don't necessarily need it. Open some windows, you know, get some natural light, turn on 
the lights in your house, trailer, whatever you live in, and just start filming. If you have an iPhone, use iMovie. That's really easy to understand once you get the hang of it. There's tutorials all over YouTube on how to use it. And then, um, of course, make your YouTube account, pick a name. And then if you have an Android, then the app that I recommend for editing is YouCut. But yeah, just dive in and do it. All right, so I'm going to answer a few more questions from my Instagram that just came through. How long have you been a Christian? Ever since I was born, I reckon. I mean, when it comes to, I was raised in a Christian home. Um, Nana, Papa, Mama, we all, we, I was just raised Christian. Um, what denomination did you come from? Oh, but when I got saved, um, I was eight years old. I remember the first time that, you know, I really went up there and, said I want to give my heart to Jesus and then again when let's see when I was probably and then again when I was a teenager I think me and my mom both got baptized on the same day I believe I have to ask her um that maybe should be like a long ago memory I was probably about 14. Um what denomination did you come from? Southern Baptist um I really would say that I don't really have a denomination now that I mean I would go to whatever church, um, you know, I felt comfortable at and I felt like preached the word of God and lined up with what the Bible says. Um, but I was raised Southern Baptist and been to, been a, you know, been to a lot, a lot of Pentecostal churches, um, holiness churches, stuff like that. So yeah, but so yeah, I really wouldn't, I mean, I'll go to any church that preaches the word of God and lines up with what the Bible says, you know, gotta speak the truth. That's right. What's a show you could binge watch over and over? I can't. I'm one of those kind of people that once I watch a show, I'm done. I cannot rewatch it. I'm also one of those kind of people that once I read a book, I can never read it again. One time, that's it. What aesthetic would you call your home? Y'all want me to be funny and say Daddy's white trash? Because I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not white trash. Um, Daddy's home. Daddy's home. But yeah, Bubba's home now. And I have one more question after this. Yep, one more question. Um, what was the question that I was answering? 6098. 6098. What say you what in the world? Um, I can't find the question I was answering. What aesthetic would you call your home? I don't know. Lacey house. Instead of farmhouse, lacey house, whatever I want, whatever I like, whatever I can afford. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what else. And last one, will you do more cooking videos? I'll do more cooking videos. Why not? I mean, I cook every day, so why not? We'll do that. But anyways, my husband is home, and that is actually the last question, so that was perfect timing. But anyways, I really hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope I see you all in the next one. Toodaloo!